Hello and welcome to our presentation, Reimagining Student Laboratories, Design and Evaluation of Two Innovative Concepts. My name is Nikolai Terhorst and next to me is Marcel Simon and we would like to tell you a little bit more about the two concepts we created. As you will see, our presentation will include four different points. First of all, an introduction and general aspects about the student lab will be given, followed by an insight about student laboratories and teacher education. After discussing digitalization and expansion of the student laboratory, a short summary and outlook will be given. So let's get started. The current student laboratory chemistry in Jena is a classical student lab, meaning that its focus lies on the conduction of experiments and related tasks. In addition, the student laboratory Cosmos includes a student research center, a center for advanced teacher education, and the usage of its materials in teaching at our university. Broadening the focus of the student lab, two changes will be made. First, a learning to teach lab will be created, linking theory and practice in the training of student teachers. Second of all, a digital student laboratory is planned, enhancing the student's learning experience by using the potential of digital media. Both concepts will be included in the new student laboratory chemistry in Jena, which will now be presented. Linking student laboratories with teacher education is the focus of the first innovative concept of the new student lab in Jena. These two aspects are combined in so-called learning to teach laboratories, abbreviated as LTL in the following. A learning to teach laboratory is current, currently understood to be a special organizational form of teacher education in which learning or support activities of students and job-related qualification of student teachers are meaningfully linked. The concept of an LTL thus forms an interface between the two spaces of theory and practice. This creates a space for student teachers to develop and reflect on professional competencies in a setting with reduced complexity. The course we created is designed for chemistry student teachers in their first semester. In that they can experience an initial shift of perspective from the role of a student to a chemistry teacher. The concept is based on the principle of subject-specific instructional coaching. Participants work in small groups of three to four persons. Each group plans a session in the student lab on a specific topic, for example drugs or titration, carries it out and reflects on it afterwards. Throughout the module, all results and reflections are documented in a portfolio. After this introduction, I would now like to go more in detail about the research focus as well as initial evaluation results. Currently, there are seven target constructs of didactical research in the context of LTL in Germany. For example, several competencies such as reflective con competence or the professional teaching perception. The present project is related to the areas of perception and self-efficiency -effic expectations. The overall goal is the elaboration and evaluation of a course concept in the sense of a learning to teach laboratory for the professionalization of chemistry student teachers in their first semester. The related scientific research focuses on four questions that can be categorized into three areas. Regarding the perception of the LTL event format, we ask how do student teachers perceive the LTL event format in terms of practical experience and understanding of theory? And what importance do student teachers attach to this theory practice linkage in relation to their future careers as chemistry teachers? The interesting question in career choice motivation is, to what extent can experiences in an LTL allow for confirmation and correction of career aspirations early in the chosen career path? And last but not least, in self-efficiency expectations, we are interested in do classroom-like experiences in an LTL lead to changes in beliefs about aptitude for the teaching profession and self-assessment of one's own competencies. The pilot study, a questionnaire survey in a pre-post design with a five-point Likert scale, one not true, five completely true, was used. In the following figures, the mean values associated with the items are shown with the respective standard deviation. Regarding the perception of the course format, the basic conception is considered sensible by the student teachers. 
Furthermore, specific course components, such as preparing courses, the prior supervision by the lecturers, or working in groups, meet with a high level of approval. Participants strongly agree with the statement that it is good to have gained practical experience in the first semester. Finally, they also rated the item that it was good to have applied the theoretically acquired knowledge in a practical context with a high average agreement. It became clear that the part participants rated both the format and the early theory practice interlinking as profitable overall, so that the event concept can be largely retained for the further planned work. Concerning the career choice motivation, the piloting results initially indicate that participants chose to study chemistry with a high level of motivation. This remains largely constant even after the interaction with the students. Based on the next two items shown, it can be seen that the practical experience in the student lab reinforces rather than challenges the student teacher's career aspirations. In addition, they indicate that they feel better prepared for their future professional practice after completing the student lab session. Again, no significant differences between the pre- and post-surveys can be found at this point. But from this it can be concluded that an initial experience in an LTL enables an influence to be exerted on the career choice decision at the start of the study, and that this is to be regarded more in the sense of a confirmation. Finally, the participants assess the quality of the student lab session and their own competencies. The first two items show that the participants rate the effectiveness of their planned session with high agreement. However, there are partly dishonorable differences between the pre- and post-scores, for example, regarding the time available for the experiments. In terms of the chemistry knowledge needed, participants indicated that they felt very well prepared for the student lab session. This belief increased in the post-survey. Similar trends can be seen in the last two items shown. These, addresses, these address the assessment of one's own abilities, for example, responding confidently to students' technical inquiries or the ability to assert oneself in troubled situations. In this area of self-efficacy expectations, it became apparent that effects can be recognized regarding the effectiveness of the unit planned and carried out by the participants, as well as their own competencies. Now I would like to tell you a little bit more about digitalization and expansion of the student laboratory. As you can see, a typical student lab day currently only consists of the experimentation phase. In this phase, the students conduct experiments and related exercises for the laboratory. The new concept called Digital Chem Lab is looking for ways to enhance this offer with the help of digital media. The goal is to improve students' learning experience and motivation. Therefore, the following phases will be added, which I will explain in more detail on the following slides. First of all, a thematic introduction will be added. Apart from welcoming the students and giving them an overview of the schedule, this phase mainly intends to activate prior knowledge of the subject and spark interest and curiosity. To support this, the introduction will be held individually using the Apprezi, in which the students can experience the learning contents as a hypertext in a self-guided way. This will take up to 15 minutes. Following this, the experimentation phase will take, just like will take place just like before, as a self-guided work on stations in the laboratory, experimenting in groups of two to four. Compared to the previous concept, the number of experiments has been reduced and the exercises connected to the experiments have been redesigned to fulfill the needs of the new concept. Again, digital media is used to enhance the learning experience by working with modern lab work ebooks and the usage of digital measurement technology directly connected to the tablets. This will take up to 90 minutes. A short break of 15 minutes will then conclude the first part of the day. The second part of the student lab day will start with a comparison of results in which model solutions for the exercises and observations for the experiments are being presented. Again, the students can compare their results individually using the aforementioned tablets. This will take up to 15 minutes. With the immersion phase, a completely new aspect is brought into the student lab using exclusively digital tasks. The students can personally select aspects they wish to learn about more. 
Working on exercises explaining the chemistry behind the experiments, students can gain a unique insight into the otherwise unseeable particle level with the help of digital media. Apart from the usage of interactive animations, the whiteboard app Explain Everything can be used to design an interactive learning environment in which videos and links can be embedded, thus transforming and individualizing the learning experience. This will take up to 30 minutes. The discussion and feedback phase will then conclude the day, clarifying any questions and problems concerning the tasks of the lab day. There will also be opportunity to give feedback using the tablets before saying goodbye and see you soon for another course in the student lab. This will take approximately 15 minutes. As you will see, the different stages of the SAMR model for the integration of learning technology are being included in the new concept. In the experimentation phase and the thematic introduction, technology serves as a direct substitute with no functional change. Concerning the use of lab ebooks and presentation apps, an augmentation can be seen as well, causing a functional improvement. Thus, the learning experience is enhanced using digital media. In the immersion phase, due to the possibilities of interactive animations and learning environments, modification and redefinition take place allowing for significant task redesign and the creation of the new tasks that were previously inconceivable. Transformation is thus achieved and the potential of digital media largely realized. The newly created concept will be reviewed and evaluated subsequently. For this purpose, a study with about 100 to 150 students will be conducted. The learning effectiveness is to be examined through a pre-test intervention post-test design with a possible follow-up questionnaire examining long-term effects of the intervention. The classes will be allocated into two different study groups. The first one will go through a prolonged experimentation phase similar to the one of the previous student lab concept. The second one will experience a shortened experimentation phase combined with an immersion phase according to the new concept. Results of the two groups will be compared according to the research question does the combination of the experimentation and immersion phase improve the student's learning in comparison to a pure experimentation phase? Conclusions about further development possibilities and the future orientation of the student lab will be drawn from the study. Now that you have gained an insight into the innovative concepts of the new Jena Student Laboratory, we would like to conclude by summarizing these aspects once again. Linking theory and practice. With the new Learning to Teach Lab, we pursue the goal of closing the theory practice gap and thus giving student teachers the opportunity to reflectively deal with their convictions and motivational orientations already at the beginning of their teaching training program. In addition, this concept offers further research potential regarding student teachers and their different attitudes. With the help of the newly developed digital student laboratory, extended learning opportunities to the existing range of experiments will be created. This is intended to increase the motivation and learning experience of the students during their visit to the student laboratory. In the context of didactical research, it also functions as a future harbor for science education research concerning digital media in the new Jena Student Lab. With this, we would like to thank you for your interest and attention and are at your disposal for any questions, suggestions and discussions.